Let's take a small project that consists of two groups of tasks. Each group contains five subtasks. Three resources are engaged in the project. One resource is a team member and two resources are virtual. All of them are calculated per hour. Note, resources that are calculated per item and that have fixed cost values will not be shown in the resource workload window. Let's dig more into the setting of resource workload. The resource workload window is located at the bottom of the screen. The workload is synchronized with a timeline. You can collapse and maximize it or set the display area. On the left, you can see the list of resources that work on this project. Here, you will find only resources calculated per hour. Resources that are calculated per item or have fixed cost values are not shown here. From the resources list, you can also quickly jump into personal calendars. Let's assign task one to our resource. This task lasts one day, what makes eight working hours. In the resource workload window, we see that this resource has eight hours for this task. Now let's assign task six to the same resource. This task should be done on the same day as task one. In the resource workload window, we see that our resource has 16 hours. When you hover the number of working hours, you will see a pop-up. It will show that the resource has 16 working hours out of eight available. If you need more details about assigned for this day tasks, click on the number of working hours. If you click on the required task in the list of tasks, you will see that this task will be highlighted in your project. Probably our resource should work four hours on each task. Thus, you will be able to edit the number of working hours for each day. I set four working hours for task one and task six. These values will be automatically recalculated in the estimation column. Also in Gantt Pro, there is a possibility to track the workload in all projects. That is set by default. Let's go to another project. Where I assign one more task to our resource. In the resource workload window, we can see that our resource is overloaded. Let's check out the pop-up window we see that our resource has 16 hours out of eight available. On project one, the resource has two tasks that last eight hours. On project two, the resource has one task that lasts eight hours. If you do not need resource workload on all projects, switch it to the active project. Now you can see that working hours on this particular project are shown. Let's consider a few more scenarios. A task can take more time. For example, it changes from one day and eight hours to five days and 40 hours. In this case, each working day will automatically take eight hours, but you can manually edit it. For example, task six will take two hours. Respectively, in the estimation column, all working hours will be recalculated. You can choose whether to show the workload in hours or tasks per day and switch it at any moment. Gantt Pro automatically handles more than 200 cases, but you can change everything manually. Also, Gantt Pro helps to identify planning problems. You have probably noticed that the numbers in this resource workload window are highlighted in different colors. The blue one shows that a resource is underperforming. The green one shows that a resource is loaded in an optimal way. The red color shows that a resource is overloaded you can set up the number of available working hours per day for each resource in personal calendars. By default, each day has eight working hours. How often do you need the resource workload feature? Please leave your comments below and plan your projects with Gantt Pro.